Hey everybody, this is Shamani from the Happy Film Company, and I am going to tell you a little bit about um, composing your uh, photos and your videos with in relation to the edges of your screen. Okay, so a lot of the time we're so focused on the middle of the photo, like the eyes and the face and what's happening right here. But I take a huge interest in what's happening all around the edge. Okay, because it's, it, it, it's the frame and it helps to set the feeling of the photo and the focus. So if I'm photographing myself with my phone right now and I hold it far away, I have all of this space around my head. You can see a lot of trees, greenery, um, but the bottom edge of the film is cutting through my body. So I'm touching the bottom edge, but I'm not touching the left, right, or top of the frame. If I could hold the camera really far away, like all the way over here, now it's not touching anywhere on my body except my arm, right there on the Okay, so we're trying to pay attention to what parts of the edge are being touched by the body that you're photographing, the subject. Um, this is one edge. Moving closer, this is two edges, the top and the bottom. If I move it over this way, now I'm touching the top, the side, and the bottom. If I move it in really close, let's see if I can do this. You're gonna lose me. Okay, now I'm touching all four sides. One, two, three, four. Um, just like that. Now it's hard to do this on my phone, but if I had a family in front of me and a, and a camera, and let's say I had a husband here and a little child, I could move the camera in like this so that, see, I'm touching and completely covering the edges. There is no greenery. Different than here. I'm touching the top, I'm touching the sides, but you can see a little bit of greenery. When you move it over here, I'm completely covering this half of the frame. And if I had my family next to me, let's say I'm kissing a husband, and his face is here, and he's completely filling this edge, like this. <laughs> so together, we are completely filling the frame, and all four edges are completely covered. I call that filling the frame. And it creates a very intimate feeling because the entire photo that you're looking at, the whole thing, is nothing but the subject. Um, which means that you're completely focused on the family, you're completely focused on that face. Unlike when it's like this, you're focused on me, but you're also taking in information about the background. You're thinking a little bit about the background. So you have to um, be aware of the edges and how much you're filling the frame and choose how much you wanna fill based on what the point of your picture is. So if let's say I love this hedge and I really wanna show this off, then I need to be back here so you can see the hedge, right? If I'm up close and personal, it's not about the hedge anymore. Oh, I filled the frame. See, that's filling the frame. <laughs> um, and then you can start to make decisions. Like, I want there to be background so you know where they are, but I want it to feel intimate. So I'm gonna have them fill up a lot of the frame. Like, maybe like this. Like, I'm there, but you can still tell there's a hedge back there. Or it's, or it's really, it's about the frame. Or it's, a, it's about the hedge. And I just want the person to be tiny, so I'm just gonna put them in the corner, like just a little bit down here. Um, which edge you put them on determines um, where the focus is, right? So if it's a tall hedge, uh, and you want to communicate that, put me right in the bottom, right in the tiny bottom, and so looking up, you can say their hedge is above me. If you want the focus to be on, um, like, let's say my hair, right? It wouldn't make sense if, like this, if you put me on this edge, because you're cutting off my hair. If you put me on this edge, like there, right, then it's kind of emphasizing this half of my body and it's emphasizing the hair. Um, likewise, if I had somebody here and, and we were kissing, right? Like, we might wanna put the kiss right in the middle of the picture, so he's taking up half of the screen and I'm taking up half of the screen. Or maybe you wanna make it all about the kiss of him. You want the focus on him and just a little bit on me. So maybe you move it so that I'm at the edge of the screen and you just see my lips. And then his head is all the way over here. <laughs> you see what I mean? So you, you have to, you're just thinking about the, the edge of the photo and where you're putting your subject and which edges they're touching. And, and when you're further away and less of them is touching, it's more about the background, it's less personal. It's more of a traditional portrait. When you move in closer and more of the subject touches the screen, it becomes more intimate. Um, and then you can direct focus to the hair, to the lips, to the hedge, depending on which side of the screen it touches. Cool. Um, I think that's it. It's a very 
out there kind of thing. It's not. It's a very modern style. Most traditional portraits, right, have a lot of space around. It's called negative space. Uh, it's more modern, contemporary kind of photography. A little bit more artsy fartsy to like completely fill the screen with your subject. But I love it. It's probably my favorite. <laughs> All right. Have a great day.